Anfa is proud to recognize a group of people whose daily acts of kindness make their homes a better place for their neighbors and the wider community. Their ability to reach out to one another, to take pride in their surroundings, and to foster a sense of community is what excellence in housing is all about. Today, we honor four individuals and groups with ONFA's 2014 Tenant Achievement Recognition Awards. Our first recipient is Howard Breen from Parkview Place in Oshawa. A 12-year resident, Howard has made life easier for his neighbours by continually sharing his time and talents with those who need assistance. Howard has held various volunteer positions, including President of the Residents Association and Chef at social dinners. He uses his handyman skills to build shelves and paint for other tenants, and makes wooden doorstops for those who need help entering their units. He is the go-to person when a TV remote isn't working or a piece of furniture is broken. Howard frequently clears the snow from vehicles and shovels snow for the building's seniors who are not able to do so themselves. He graciously takes residents to medical appointments at the grocery store. He will even do their shopping for them. Howard's number one priority has always been the well-being and safety of those around him, especially the residents and staff at Parkview Place. Howard helps to keep his neighbours safe by paying attention to the surroundings and being willing to assist when a resident needs help. His sense of humour and natural ability to bring people out of their shell makes everyone feel welcome. He is always encouraging others to get involved in the activities offered in the building. With all that Howard has done and continues to do in the community, he has not asked for anything in return. Howard's generosity and spirit has made Parkview Place a wonderful home. Our second award goes to the Nepean Housing Corporation tenants who live at 130 Center Point Drive. 130 Center Point is a little building filled with people who have big hearts. They make their residence a special place to live valuing independence, self-sufficiency, and community. They don't have a special charter or a resident association. Rather, they have relationships based on care and common sense that help them create an outstanding place to call home. Since opening in 1991, the residents of 130 Centerpoint have been building a close-knit community. Recognizing that coming together is the basis of friendship, the residents organize potlucks, trade books, and share stewardship for the common room. Neighbours get together to enjoy regular movie nights, and the annual Christmas party is not to be missed. The pride residents feel in their home makes 130 Center Point a building of choice for many Ottawa renters. The tenants were especially proud when one of their neighbours, Wayne McIntyre, received CTV's Viewer's Choice Most Amazing Person Award in 2013. Wayne was recognized for his work on accessibility, healthcare and education. Sadly, Wayne succumbed to cancer this fall but will be remembered fondly by his friends at Centerpoint. ONFA is proud to honour the residents of 130 Centerpoint Drive, who make their piece of Ottawa a better place to live. Our next Tenant Award recipient is John Shields, a resident at St. Stephen's Community House, a community-based social service agency in Toronto. John came to St. Stephen's in December 2004 as a tenant of one of its residential programs, Odette Place. Initially, John was quite withdrawn and kept to his unit for most of the day, but with the support of staff and the security of safe and supportive housing, John began to participate in the Odette community. He began regularly participating in community and tenant meetings and offered support and encouragement to other residents. Soon, John earned the trust and respect of his neighbours and became a leader in the Odette community. John impressed the staff at St. Stephen's with his ability to navigate the sometimes conflicting opinions of support staff and tenants and to create positive outcomes for all. John is now employed at Odette as the site's door person. In this role, he uses the conflict resolution and crisis intervention skills he's learned to build and maintain positive relationships with staff, clients, and neighbours. Many local business owners who had mixed feelings about the presence of a social service agency have become staunch supporters due in part to John's dedication and commitment to healthy conflict resolution. The community has come to respect John and he is recognized for his skill and gentle good humor. John's achievements as a tenant and staff member have benefited his fellow residents and solidified Odette's place in the community. Our final award is presented to Irene Hayward, Pauline Stanley, and Gordana Markov, Cambridge Nonprofit Housing Corporation tenants who run the doll workshop. 
The doll workshop began a few years ago when Thor Robinson wondered what to do with some leftover fabric. She decided to recruit volunteers for a charitable sewing project and the doll workshop was formed. Sadly, Thor passed away in 2012, but the doll workshop is still sewing away with three regular workers, Irene, Pauline, and Gordana. The group has received donations of fabric and cash by other tenants, and the women are always grateful for help. The dolls are given to various children's charities in the Waterloo region. During the last few Christmas seasons, the group has donated dolls to Haven House, a shelter that serves women and children fleeing abuse, a Christmas hamper program, and to the Preston Heights Community Centre. In addition to local charities, the group has sent dolls internationally through Possibilities International. In the summer of 2013, 20 dolls were sent to El Salvador and, just recently, a batch of dolls was sent to Guatemala. The doll workshop provides an opportunity for residents to become involved in something that benefits those beyond their doors, reaching into local and international communities. Irene, Pauline and Gordana's work is recognized and celebrated by their neighbours. They have chosen to overcome their own challenges and have created a group that looks beyond their needs to the needs of others. The Doll Workshop has been a positive influence on the tenants of Cambridge Nonprofit Housing and for countless children and families here and abroad. Congratulations to all of ONFA's 2014 Tenant Achievement Award recipients.